All right, now, having done modal mixture, we're ready for mixture pivot modulation. That means we're going to use a mixture cord, but we're going to use that mixture cord as a means of pivoting to a distantly related key. Remember that we measure distance in terms of key signatures. We're basically looking at the difference in accidentals. If you're within an accidental of another key, that's a, that's a close relationship but there's a distance between the two keys. They're distantly related if there are two or more accidentals difference between their two key signatures. Okay, so that's distant modulation, and to get to something that far away requires some special procedures. One of those procedures is to use a mixture cord as the pivot. Let's look first at Franz Schubert's Kent's Du das Land. Do you know the land? Um, I'm just going to go through measure 8. Well, here, if you listen to the recording, a recording of it, you'll hear two phrases getting you up to measure 8. We're in A major. You can see the tonic chord there at the start. And it cadences here on E. So 2 to 5 in the key half cadence. And we restart, you can see the similarity between these two, these two measures. In other words, we have a parallel situation, a parallel period actually. Start the same, but this time we're going to go somewhere new. This is a C major triad. So we're getting from A major to C major, and that's three accidentals difference. Three sharps to no sharps or flats. A distant relationship. Now think about the relationship in terms of Roman numerals. So what would C major be in terms of A major? In the context of A, you would normally have a C sharp and we're lowering it. That's where that's part of the mixture thing. Um, but that's a harmonic or a, a tonal goal. We're going to get to C and it's going to become the tonic. So what is C major? Well it's it's lowered three and it's major. It's this flat Three. So we're getting from a major one to its flat three. Remember there are two main goals for this kind of modulation. One is to go to flat three and the other is to go to flat six. Those two keys are most common when we use a mixture pivot. In other words, those are the goals of modulation. Now let's see how we get there. As soon as you find one of those two keys, you should think, okay, probably mixture pivot. My only question is, where, where does that come? What chord is it? Let's start here, because we already noticed that that is 1 in, in A major. There's some passing motion. Those are literally passing tones. You can't form a chord out of those things. Outer parts moving up in parallel tense to first inversion, but still 1. Okay, that's how it starts now. It's, I always jump to the end and I work backwards. So, the goal is 1 in C, and backing up we get a 5. It's actually got the 7th up top, and there it ends up in the piano part and resolves here. If you're curious, what in the world happened to that seventh? It's not just dangling, it ends up moving into another part and resolving there. Let's back up one more. We, accept, we expect the predominant and we get it. D, F, A, C. That's a 2, 7 chord in inversion. So I'll write 2, 6, 5. Going to the dominant, going to the tonic. Okay, that's a nice strong cadence. It's a P, A, C in flat three, right there. Okay, now, oh, well, it looks like this chord's gonna work too. See all those C naturals? That's gonna fit in the new key. That's C major in first inversion. That our new key is one six. Now, accidentals disappear over here, and I can't fit E, G sharp, B into the new key. I'm going to have to interpret this in terms of the old key. So let's do it. If you've got E major, that's 5 in A. 5. OK. 
Okay, so probably this mixture core, the first site of mixture, is probably our pivot. So let's see if we can make that work. What is C major if you're in A major? Well, we already said what that is. That's our new time. That's flat three. So he's taking... Notice the base stays the same in this measure. E's in the base. It's the first inversion then. Not C, the root. The E, the chordal third. So that already is our flat. The re chord, first inversion, and it's reinterpreted in retrospect as our new tonic, and then we cadence in that key. Okay, so that is a mixture chord serving as a pivot to get us to the new key. I'd like to just notice some things about the voice again that make this super smooth. You basically got this E, G sharp, and B. And the B moves up to a C natural. Just a half step motion. The E we said stays in the bass, it just it jumps down an octave, but it's still there as our bass note. And then the G sharp changes to G natural. Five goes to six, the lower six. So that's a half step motion, five, six. And the third of the chord drops. So three comes flat three. This is a procedure that we've seen quite a bit. Not usually on scale degree five in the home key, but usually on on scale degree one. I'll show you an example of that in a minute.